The Champions League for me, I think it's the best of the best. You have, you know, the best clubs in Europe of every league playing against each other. And for me, I think it's, it's the best tournament. It's so much fun. Not winning the Champions League last season was a reality check for us. It definitely shook us a little bit that we were not able to win last year, but you know, that's part of life. It honestly it makes us better. It makes the women's game better. You know, the fact that other teams are growing. And the level gets higher and higher every season. and. Now this year as well with the group phase, I think this is very positive because more teams get a chance and you get more games against each other and we feel that the level goes up every time. C'est sûr que quand euh, on a l'habitude de gagner la Champions League et qu'une saison ben elle nous échappe, ça, ça fait mal au cœur mais ben voilà, on a l'occasion de repartir sur une nouvelle saison en plus avec un nouveau format de Champions League. The inaugural group stage campaign begins and here in group D Swedish champions Hecken face Lyon, the most successful club in the history of this competition. There might be an opportunity here for Von der Donk. And Mala tucks it in! Ah, Ken! Oh, but oui, c'était le premier. Oh, ouais, le premier match, oui, du groupe. Uh, C'est vrai, avec une passe décisive de Daniel. <laughs> La nouvelle joueuse également. Donc, uh, voilà, ça aussi, ça montre uh, une grande équipe. And the seven-time Champions League winners are off and running. At the end of the day, you know, like we just want to win, we just want to help the team, and whether that comes by scoring goals or assists, I hope to to win every every single day. They're really looking dangerous here. Away, only as far as Macario. It's a super goal from a player who is in red-hot form. Arda Hegerberg, 20 months out. That game against Hacken, her return, obviously in the Champions League, she's well known. It's great for our team that she's back and back in form. I had a lot of time to, to think about those first minutes back on the pitch. It's been a long road to get back to it. And the highest scorer in the history of the Champions League is back. It was a big moment. At the same time, that was only the beginning in my eyes. And Leon are pulling clear and wasting no time in doing so. On sait l'importance qu'elle a dans l'équipe, on sait déjà la qualité qu'elle a et, et, et c'est merveilleux d'avoir une attaquante comme ça. Welcome to the Oil Stadium, match day two in the UEFA Women's Champions League and the record winners Olympic Lyonnais hosting Portuguese champions Benfica who are embarking on their maiden journey in European competition. There's been some beautiful goals and I think it's important that we create a lot of chances. I think that's such an important thing for us in order to develop our momentum and to stay on top. Gascarino. Macario hangs it on Mallard! How about that for a finish? Glorious goal! Mallard waits. Beaten Letizia. And arriving at the back, Kanisha Buchanan has another tonight. A rare double for the Canadian. And a very, very comfortable night in the end for the seven-time champions of Europe. Football is nothing without the fans. So being able to be back in a beautiful stadium, having the fans cheering for you is that's what you trained for, uh, in my eyes. C'est vrai que ben face au Bayern, on savait que c'était euh, la grosse affiche euh, du groupe, donc euh, on avait à cœur aussi de faire un bon match. On savait que ça allait être serré. The top two go head to head tonight in Group D. Leon host Bayern München. That game was a fun game to play in, but also a hard game, and obviously Bayern's a great team. It comes out to Cascarino, and it comes through to Kanan. And Leon are level! Delph took the, the shots and it got deflected and yeah, I always try to follow and I did this now as well and then it was just rage and enthusiasm coming out of me and the teammate. Macario takes the corner, oh re-jumping! I had the chance to mark this goal from the head that has allowed us to win this match and to have the first place of the group that we can hold to the end. So I'm super happy because it helped the team to qualify and to have a little longer advance to be better for the next. 
the seven times Champions League winners were not to be denied. And isn't that the mark of champions? I just remember when that Amadine scored that goal and to get that win at home was important. That win against Bayern was special just because it, it showed how Brazilian this group is. Going to play at Bayern was especially difficult. What a night ahead of us in Munich. The German champions host France's most successful club. Nothing is easy in Champions League and it never has been. I don't think that we show the best version of ourselves in that game. Can the German champions find a way through here against Lyon? Simon swings it in dangerously and it's in! Of all the people, it is Saki Kumagai, the player who left Lyon, who gives Bayern the lead. Final minute of added time, and Cascarino's turned and put it wide. That was so close. What a statement victory this is for the German champions. And it was a former Lyon player, Saki Kumagai, who wins the game for Bayern. The two games were very tight, and uh, we won the first game with the smallest difference, and they won the second game with the smallest difference. We have learned from that. Next time that we play them, if we play them, like we're all looking forward to it. Both sides can still qualify for the quarterfinals. Leon looking to top the group. A victory here and they'll regain top spot after Bayern's 5-1 win at Hecken. We had some points ahead of Bayern and we knew that we just had to finish the job, you know, and not let any of the teams, Benfica or Hecken, come and take points from us because, you know, at the end of the day, that was going to decide who was going to be first in our group. Two classic team meeting each other, Benfica, Leon. We were very efficient in how we played. Quick passes, wide, some good crosses from Delphine in that game. The Cascarino's in a little bit of space here. A chance to try and get the ball in. She does towards Hegebird. Well, that hasn't taken long, has it? 35 seconds on the clock, and Leon have taken the lead. Cascarino with a chance to cross once again. Running at Nazareth, gets the ball in. Hegeberg's there, and Hegeberg gets her second. Feeds it through, Malar, flag stays down. There's three of them here, Malar across the face of goal. Signe Brun makes it five. Leon capitalizing for their fifth of the night. They have now booked their place in the 2022 Champions League quarterfinals. Leon, the record champions, top of Group D, looking to finish it for Bayern's group winners. It was very important to finish the job you started. Uh, you know, Hekin is not an easy team to play. They're physical, but we showed up. We were very concentrated to kind of like show people that we're, um, we wanted to go for that first spot. Macario for Basha. Hekkerberg waiting. Here she is! Ada Hekkerberg laying down her mark. We have so much fire and so much hunger. I feel like this is more like a new team, you know, that's like hungry to get after it even more so. Heads go up. Oh, and on the turn is brilliant. That is a super goal from Kema. And that is that. Leon end the group stage on a winning note by four goals to nil. We're all super excited for it to get started. It's so weird not having Champions League, you know, just like having this break. I'm very excited, first of all. We uh, are training for the big games. That's what we're waiting for. I think this season we've come out and we've shown that, you know, we are Lyon and we're still Lyon. We want to keep that form heading into the quarterfinals. Our objective was to go the furthest as we could. And last season, uh, we didn't do this. It was important to win the group phase for us to, to show that we're still here. I think we did a good, a good job, so uh, now it's on to the, to the next round.